Welcome, and how are you? I hope that you are having a fantastic day. We're going to talk about Bitcoin news today. Will Bitcoin hit $12,000 in a couple of weeks? Wouldn't that be fantastic? I don't know about you, but I really hope it does. In fact, I hope that $12,000 is just one step of many on its way to a new all-time high and greatly exceeding the previous all-time high. So let's get into it. In today's video, we're going to look at three different articles. The first article is Bitcoin's price spread on the CME is super bullish and foretells a major upside. Then we're going to look at Bitcoin just saw its biggest breakout ever, and that means 10,000 is just the start. And then finally, we're going to look at top analysts layout compelling case for $12,000 Bitcoin within a month. Now, should I buy Bitcoin now or should I wait? We're going to give you ideas to help you take profits and avoid losses. Can we get this video to 99 likes? Smash the like button. It makes a huge difference. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is my opinion. Um, now, cryptocurrency involves substantial risk of loss. So if you decide to invest in crypto or any other asset, whether it's real estate or stocks or anything else, be sure to understand this disclaimer. Understand that you're getting involved in something that could cause a loss of finances in that investment. Um, and so understanding whatever you're investing in is really, really important. And that's what this channel is all about. We want to give you a solid foundation so that if you choose to invest in cryptocurrency, you have a good idea of what you're doing and what to expect. Now, if you invested $1,000 in Bitcoin and three years later sold it, let's say you invested $1,000 on January 1, 2017 and sold it on December 31st, 2019, your Bitcoin would have been worth $7,206. Now this chart goes throughout the history of Bitcoin and breaks it down into three-year increments, three-year increments ending in 2019, ending in 2018, etc., and covers the entire lifetime of Bitcoin. And you can see during all of the lifetime of Bitcoin that historically you would have always made money with 18% over a three-year period being the worst three years available. Um, while all of the others were significantly higher and you can see at the last one a very dramatic uh, price increase. So Bitcoin the current price of Bitcoin is $10,093. It's gone up five, almost 6% in the last 24 hours. And the dominance is at 65%, 0.62. And so Bitcoin has gone up quite a bit in the last 24 hours and has finally busted through the $10,000 price mark. Now, just to give you a little bit of perspective, the current time is 6.58 a.m., Central Standard Time on June 2nd, 2020. Can't believe it's June 2nd already. Man, is time flying. So the first article we're going to look at is Bitcoin price spread on the CME is super bullish. Dun, 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 super bullish and foretells a major upside. Bitcoin has seen mixed price action in recent times struggling to pass the $10,000 price until today despite gaining a solid foothold in the $9,000 region. Analysts are now noting that cryptocurrency appears to be turning point as it trades directly between two CME gaps. One analyst is also pointing to the massive BTC premium seen on the CME as a reason why the crypto is highly bullish. Now, the choppy price action came about just prior to Bitcoin's weekly and monthly candle close and have analysts and analysts have noted that its ability to close above 9,500 is an overly bullish sign. And so for it to have actually hit $10,000 and beyond, um, uh, I mean, it just if it was a bullish to hit 9,500, then it's even more so to break through to the $10,000 price range. 
One analyst is pointing to the fact that Bitcoin's price on the CME is currently $100 higher than the price on any other exchange. And so that's quite interesting. When there's a $100 gap in the price between Bitcoin on one exchange and the price on another exchange, that shows you that something's going on. The people on one exchange are extremely bullish and don't mind paying the extra premium or a higher price. Um, he believes that this indicates that the crypto is bullish at the moment as futures traders on the platform are willing to pay a premium in order to get exposure to it. And so the higher price was on futures contracts uh, on the CME for Bitcoin. And so the people that were buying those contracts and pushing the price higher were happy to pay an extra $100, $100 above what they could have paid if they just went to a different platform and just bought Bitcoin flat out. So the BTC CME futures trading almost $100 above the spot price. That's very bullish. The wider the spread, the more bullish the market until it flips, one analyst noted. And so... The fact that people are trading the CME futures and doing so at a premium, paying extra money just to get into a futures contract, is a significant thing because they're putting money on the line saying, well, I expect this to go higher and I'm willing to forego the extra $100 just in order to place my bet that it will go higher. So Bitcoin just saw its biggest breakout ever I was surprised at that. I, I did not realize that this breakout to $10,000 was the biggest breakout ever in the history of Bitcoin. That means $10,000 is just the start. It's been an explosive past few days for Bitcoin. After tanking to lows of 8600 on the weekend before last, the cryptocurrency breached $10,000 just hours ago. On Bitstamp, BTC traded as high as $10,429, according to TradingView.com data. While the asset remains below the yearly highs of $10,500, a prominent analyst noted that this rally has formed Bitcoin's largest breakout ever. This suggests that the crypto market is heading much higher than it is in the long run. So here it is on a log scale. This is the biggest, biggest chart pattern breakout thus far. And so here's, here's the chart he's talking about. And he's talking about the fact that Bitcoin broke out through this, this bar here and hit the price of 10,400 and something. The chart depicts that Bitcoin is now trading above the downtrend that performed the $20,000 all-time high. The technical downtrend marked uh, the $14,000 2019 high along with the $10,500 high seen earlier this year. It also marked the $20,000 all-time high. Uh, it said that, but you know, I like talking about the $20,000 all-time high. Anyway, Powell did not explain the significance of this technical breakout during the thread, but he has in a recent research note. In April, in the April newsletter from his macroeconomic analyst firm, Global Macro Investor, obtained by News BTC, he wrote that I think it hits $100,000 in the next two years alone, in reference to a chart almost identical to the one above. The only difference was that when he shared the chart, it had not broken past the resistance. And so it sounds like he thinks that in the near term, in the next two years, Bitcoin is going to hit $100,000 or greater. And you know what? He's not the only one that's talking about that $100,000 Bitcoin price. There's quite a few analysts out there. And these are people that I do have some respect for. I believe that they have a, uh, a, a, a degree of wisdom and a degree of accuracy when it comes to to their anticipating future prices for Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in general. This is confirmed by stock to flow models by Plan B and the breakout has happened almost exactly as the happening. Add to that the huge, the entire world's central banks are printing money like crazy. 
Quantitative easing fiat means the hardest money that automatically quantitatively tightens. So while fiat, while the, the governments of the world are printing money like crazy, uh, cryptocurrency is just the opposite. While, while dollar bills and other regular dollars, regular currencies are becoming uh, bloated with extra currency where they're printing huge amounts of it, cryptocurrency is doing just the opposite and it is actually getting scarcer and scarcer and scarcer. The Bitcoin halving cut the new supply of Bitcoin in half. That would be like the central banks going, okay, well, we printed X amount last year. This year, we're going to only print half that amount. So that would, that would be a dramatic opposite turn to what they're currently doing. This led him to the conclusion that Bitcoin currently has one of the best setups in any asset class I've ever witnessed. Technical, fundamental, flow of funds, and plumbing. So if this is the best setup of any asset class ever witnessed, that means that that setup could drive Bitcoin to extreme highs. And those highs, I mean, Bitcoin, as you saw from my chart here, Bitcoin has had some extreme increases in three-year periods to where $1,000 would have become worth $2.6 million uh, if you had bought a thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin on January 2011 and sold it on December 31st, 2013. That thousand dollars would have become 2.686 million. And so, if he thinks that this is the best setup any asset class has ever witnessed, could we see a similar, absolutely blow off the doors return? Who knows? Time will tell. Um, and this is not financial advice. This is my opinion, and it's the opinion of this author. If it becomes an ecosystem, and we believe it will be, and it will take the whole ecosystem with it as well, then yes, I think a $10 trillion number is easily achievable within that process. So when this guy's talking about a $10 trillion number, he's talking about the market cap of Bitcoin being worth $10 trillion and that would exceed the market cap of gold because gold has a current market cap of $9 trillion. So just for those who are not clear on what it, what's meant by market capitalization, what they're talking about is when you take, uh, if, if we're talking about gold, then we would take the total amount of gold that exists in the, in the entire world and we would multiply it by the price of gold and that results in a, in a figure of $9 trillion. So if we take the total amount of Bitcoin and multiply that by a dollar value and it equals $10 trillion, um, uh, basically what they're saying is that the total value of all Bitcoins in existence is $10 trillion. But what would the price of Bitcoin be for that to occur? For context, a $10 trillion market capitalization in Bitcoin corresponds with a price of $500,000 per Bitcoin. And so this analyst is basically saying that he thinks that Bitcoin could reach at some point $500,000 per coin. Pretty spectacular. In our final article that we're talking about today, top analysts lay out compelling case for $12,000 Bitcoin within the next 30 days, within a month. Now, this was written before Bitcoin broke above the $10,000 price point. Now that it's broken above the $10,000 price, I'm sure they would have rewritten this article and said it in a different way, um, but said it even more positive because this article is definitely a very positive, very bullish article. The price of Bitcoin may hit $12,000 within the next month if it sees a breakout above $10,000, traders say. Well, it did break out above 10000 So the price of Bitcoin could rise as high as $12,000 within the next month, some traders say. Predictions for an extended uptrend emerged as the dominant cryptocurrency steadied amid declining volatility about five days. Historically, Bitcoin trends tends to see large price movements following a long period of stability. 
For over 100 hours, the price of Bitcoin remained in a 2% range, which is an abnormally low level of volatility for Bitcoin. Since late 2019, the price of Bitcoin has moved within a cycle determined by its all-time high in 2017 and a local peak in 2019. Every attempt to break out of the cycle in the past 10 months has led to a steep sell-off in the cryptocurrencies market. The question technical analysts are asking is whether Bitcoin is ready to break out of the dreaded cycle this time around, starting a new bullish trend. The most compelling case for a breakout above 10,500 in the near term, which would kickstart a new bull market, is the ongoing consolidation of Bitcoin at 9,500. The term consolidation in trading refers to the price of an asset declining slowly as traders approach the market with caution. Continued consolidation just below a key level such as 10,000 for a relatively long period of time indicates the probability of a breakout is increasing. When Bitcoin finally does break out of this range, it's going to be explosive. I'd say 11,000 within three weeks, possibly 12,000 within a month. So Bitcoin has broken out of that range. And so this author that we're reading right now has has publicly declared he has an expectation that Bitcoin will hit 12,000. But if I think he, I think if he looked at the chart, he might have uh, shortened that time frame. Um, I'd love to find out what his thoughts are today, now that we've actually broken that $10,000 price target. Been seeing a lot of bearish tweets, but I think that this is the last one to two weeks that you'll ever be able to buy Bitcoin under $9,000. That could very easily be true, because if you look at Bitcoin historically, um, there was a point not long after the halving where you saw a certain low price that was never ever seen again. And so while the 9,000 is a possibility, I think that low price will actually be quite a bit higher. Um, For example, the all time high before 20,000 was $1,000. And since since Bitcoin hit that $20,000 all time high, it's never gone back to the $1,000 range. And yet the $1,000 was the previous all-time high. It's actually $1,200, but we're close enough. The closest it got was the $3,000 range. So if that holds true, $9,000 won't be the lowest price we would see on Bitcoin. It would be closer to the $20,000 price. And so we may see Bitcoin shoot past the $20,000 and never ever return to $20,000 again. And so they go into a bearish alternative scenario. I'm not going to cover that. If you like, I will include a link to all of these articles. I always include links to all the articles in the YouTube comments. So if you navigate, if you click the button in the lower right-hand corner, you should be able to get directly to the YouTube channel if you're not already there. And if you are already there, then in the description for this YouTube video, you will find links to all of the articles Uh, that we just reviewed. So my question for you is how can I be of service to you? Do you have any questions, thoughts, comments? Please leave them in the YouTube channel comments below. In the meantime, I hope that you'll like, subscribe, and hodl. And hey, do me a favor and have a fantastic day.